In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to go from this to this in PvP. The first factor is your aim, and this is a key factor when PvPing. If you can't follow your opponent with your mouse, you Bruh. obviously won't be able to hit them. So, what do you do to help this? One thing you can do is lower your sensitivity through the Minecraft settings. You can also change the DPI on your mouse, which works too. If you have too quick sensitivity and it's hurting you, trying out lower sensitivity may do the job. But honestly, for me, this is more of a practice makes perfect thing. I just play Bed Wars and while clicking, follow their movements. You can also do this on other games like Duels and other PvP servers. If you want to get quicker results, you can also try Aim Trainers as well. Now, I was talking about aiming at your opponent, but how do I make it so that my opponent has difficulty aiming at you? Well, here's one of the best methods, strafing. Strafing is so crucial when PvPing because if you walk in a straight line while holding W, the opponent can aim at you easily. So use the power of your A and D keys and strafe. By moving side to side, it makes it so much more harder to track you. And you can get fancy with it. Move left, and then right, and then right again, and oh! Yeah, please don't strafe on bridge fights. Now, another way to make it harder for your opponent is using the power of KB. You don't understand the powers with KB, but when dealing with it correctly, it makes it way easier to PvP, especially in Bed Wars. As Uncle Ben says, with great power comes great responsibility. So abuse the life out of it. Here's how. First off, always sprint while in PvP. You deal so much more knockback when doing this. This creeper test easily explains why. However, after your first hit while sprinting, the knockback lowers significantly. But there is a way to avoid this. So let me introduce you to sprint resetting. There are a few ways to do this. The first way, W tapping, which is where you hold down the W key while sprinting. And when you hit your opponent, quickly let go of your W key and press it again. Try to do this whenever you see the red flash when you hit them. By doing this, it gives you the knockback of your first hit because technically you are really just sprinting all over again. The second way is S tapping, where you W tap, but whenever you hit someone, you press S to reset your sprint. Similarly, try to do this when you see the red flash. Finally, there is block hitting, which is where you W tap, but whenever you hit someone, you click your right mouse button with your sword to block and that will reset your sprint too. Keeping distance between your opponent is really, really important, and especially in Bedwars where you can knock people into the void as well with this. You should also try to stop their knockback as well by stopping their sprint. By stopping their sprint, they can't do insane knockback while you can. An easy way to stop their sprint is by simply placing a block in front of them but away from you, and then switching back to your sword. This works really, really good on bridges as well. Moving on, the next factor is your decision-making skills. One example of this is when you buy in the shop. If you're buying 20 silver fish and sponges, it isn't gonna cut it. If you wanna know what I like to buy, here's what it is. Try to get iron armor as fast as possible since it will give you a large advantage against those puny leather armor players. And always try to get a stone sword as well as some wool. If it is near end game, I just buy an iron sword and a ton of golden apples and fireballs. If I have enough gold, a knockback stick might just be the secret surprise weapon to fly them into a doom to get the dub. But iron and gold purchases aren't enough when you can get diamond upgrades before rushing your next base. Only worry about getting pro and sharp. Wait, what are you doing hovering over heal pool? No! Just please buy only sharp protection and minor fatigue traps. Some other decisions that you can make are having the high ground showing superiority before surprise attacking them, along with trying to hit people into the void on bridges, which is so much more easier than trying to kill them on the bridge. The next factor is CPS. I'll be honest here, CPS is so, so, so overrated. Because it is overrated, I'm just gonna say this. Clicking faster could mean that you can get the first hit and sometimes double hit more often, but you should honestly practice all the other methods before trying to do this. But if your goal is to get more CPS, the final factor that can help you is getting a new mouse. But like I said, practice and try all these other methods beforehand. Because why spend money when you don't need to? Who knows, the rest of these tips may help. However, if you are using that cheap Dell office mouse that you found in the attic, buying a new mouse could Bruh. possibly increase your skills. But what should you look for when buying a new mouse? After you know your budget, you should look for three factors, weight, shape, and clicks. For weight, the lighter your mouse is, the better. When you have a lighter mouse, it allows you to move your mouse around faster, which can help you increase your aim. However, if you are planning to drag click, it might be the complete opposite for you. You might want a heavier mouse so your mouse doesn't move around when you do that crazy bridging styles. For shape, this will completely depend on your hand size. If you have small hands, <clears throat> like me, smaller mice may allow you to get better feel and grip for your mouse. 
Depending on the size of your hands, that should decide what mice size you get. Now for clicks, this will depend on your clicking style. For jitter slash normal clicking, you should try to get a mouse with lighter clicks and less travel. That way you can get more CPS. If you are looking to butterfly, you should look for a mouse with low debounce time and mice that can double click. This is the same for drag clicking. So now whenever you PvP, remember to try these methods. And if they were, consider liking and commenting. It worked in the comments. If you want to follow me for more videos, hit the subscribe button. And with that, peace.